diamonds are now being grown in special machines, part of the industry that barely existed 10 years ago, but thanks to improved technology has seen explosive growth. Lab grown diamonds or LGDS so closely resemble natural diamonds that even experts have to look extra close. No natural eye can tell the difference between natural and lab grown diamonds. Natural diamonds and lab grown diamonds are so similar that once, even after lab testing, there was confusion about the origin of a diamond. The diamond had to be tested twice to make sure that it was lab grown. Natural diamonds are formed at great heat and pressure deep underground. Since the 1950s, scientists have been trying to recreate that process above ground, resulting in two techniques. The high pressure, high temperature HPHT system is where a diamond seed is surrounded by pure graphite, a type of carbon, and exposed to temperatures above 1500 degrees C, and pressured to approximately 1.5 million pounds per square inch in a chamber. The second process is called chemical vapour deposition, CVD, and involves putting the seed in a sealed chamber filled with carbon rich gas and heating it to around 800 degrees Celsius. The gas sticks to the seed, building up the diamond atom by atom. While these techniques emerged in the late 20th century, it's only in the last 10 years that the process has been refined so that lab grown diamonds can be made at the right price and quantity to be sold as jewellery. In the beginning, it was very difficult as there were very few machines and very few scientists able to do it. Over the last seven years, as more experts became available in the market, the sector has seen big growth. Since the early 2000s, the cost of producing lab-grown diamonds has halved every four years. These days, a one-carat diamond, which is a popular size and common in engagement rings, made in a lab would be around 20% cheaper than its natural formed equivalent. These falling costs have attracted many entrepreneurs to the industry. Manufacturers are able to monitor the growth of a diamond atom by atom at the highest degree of purity. Comparatively, they are cost and time effective and save mining and extraction costs, making them human and environmentally kind. India has long played a key role in the diamond industry. It's estimated that 9 out of 10 of the world's diamond are polished in Surat. Now the government want India to become a key player in the lab grown diamond business. The nation already produces around 3 million lab grown diamonds a year, accounting for 15% of global production. China is the other big producer with a similar market share. In January, in an effort to boost the sector further, the Indian government abolished a 5% tax on important diamond seeds and announced funding to help Indian develop its own diamond seed production. As global prosperity increases, the demand for diamonds will also increase. In the next three to four years, analysts expect to see massive demand and growth in lab-made diamonds. Both natural and lab-made diamonds cater to different consumer sectors. The demand exists in both segments. LGDs have opened a new consumer market, middle class Indians who have the money and will be able to afford a lab grown diamond. However, some analysts are saying it might take some time for the market to really take off in India. Most of the LGDs made in India are exported to the United States, but it's expected in three to four years India will be ready for a diamond boom. Manufactured diamonds will have a very different place in the market from those that have been mined. As we spoke about earlier, a diamond made in a laboratory or a factory is an artificial diamond. So a buyer who knows and loves diamonds will always go for a real diamond. The relative scarcity of natural diamonds means they'll hold their value better. Lab grown diamonds lose their value after buying. Whereas natural diamonds, 50% of the value is retained after buying. While that may be the case, lab grown diamonds offer jewellery designers greater flexibility. Natural diamonds are so expensive, you always want to maximise the diamond from the natural stone. Lab grown diamonds you can design as you want. We've seen jewellery where they have cut holes in the diamond so they dangle and sparkle more. However you look at it, the lab diamond industry is going to provide jobs to millions. 
it will be a completely unstoppable industry.